Alright, so I figured I'd start with some video updates. Um, I got an idea about doing video updates from another form. And I figured I'd try it out, see how it goes instead of the pictures. Uh, basically, I'm working on the old body style fender, or inner fender, into the new body style outer fender. Uh, I got into the position I want. Um, the opening's a little bit bigger than I kind of wanted down below, but I think it will uh, be alright, especially it will show off the titanium series shock waves and I'll be able to reach down there and adjust anything and keep an eye on everything too. Um, but it still maintains that factory look to it. And uh, the angle isn't actually too bad. I might end up splicing back here and dropping the rain gutter look to um, down a little bit. Other than that, um, I had to have it up so high only because uh, right here it drops down fast and um, I didn't want to have to modify that too much. Otherwise, I'd be getting in the way with the booster. Um, right here, you can see I had to take off the two brake lines. I put blue tape just to protect it. Probably going to end up running all braided right from the master. Um, but clearance wise, I'm actually pretty well considering that this Hydra Boost is such a big unit. Um, here you can see the clearance I have. This is basically in the laid out position. Um, you can see right now the wheel is going to be about a half inch further out because uh, the Willwood brake hat is about a half inch thick. But in the laid out position there's absolutely no no rubbing whatsoever. Um, and actually I still can get I can get almost that's basically where I'm going to be able to go as far as turning and uh, still no rubbing and uh, same thing going this way I get too close up there not that I'm ever going to be driving with the whole frame on the ground but still no rubbing um, that was key I didn't want any rubbing at all because uh, it's all going to be undercoated underneath and uh, the top's going to be painted along with the whole engine bay a uh, engine bay flat but it will match the black exterior paint um, that's basically where I am today um, and I'm going to try to get this one done or wrapped up tonight or at least this weekend and then I'll work on that side you can see right here I'm going to have to make a basically hand form piece um, what I'm actually the uh, key thing is with these is I'm actually using the passenger side on the driver's side and the driver's side on the passenger uh, the old body style guys might know realize that because down here there's usually a shelf area and that is what I had to cut off on the back um, down here actually I'm going to be getting rid of all this and bringing this tapered down and uh, probably bringing this down like that and bringing it back to here just so it cleans up and flows with the frame a little bit nicer um, I'm not going to have a battery or a fuse box or anything actually over here the engine bay is just going to consist of the block um, the two turbos and uh, the overflow and the hydro boost and the uh, mass cylinder for the clutch is probably going to be under the dash um, other than that and there's a little shot of that tub all the sheet metal is just basically bent as I weld uh, it makes it a little difficult but I work with what I have and uh, another shot of the tires and um, that's about it for tonight. Alright, check back soon.